Hello, welcome to this video. When should you be using Shopify over using companies like Teespring, Redbubble, uh, Gearbubble, Teasly, all these companies? When should you be transitioning into a Shopify store? That is what I wanna talk about in this video. You may have seen my recent video where I actually talk about a huge shipping problem with companies like Teespring. And no, don't blame this on the current pandemic and what's going on because print on demand companies have been charging an exuberant amount. Is that even the right word? I don't know. But they've been charging a lot for shipping when they shouldn't be. So we've got to start thinking of other ways to sell t-shirts. And that is why in this video, I wanna give you the strategy that I think will really, really do well for creating a Shopify print-on-demand store. So before we get into it, my name is Shimmy Morris. Thank you so much if you're watching my videos for the first time and you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. I know it seems like I'm way off, but I'm, I'm getting there slowly, but surely I will get there. And I make videos on print on demand, Amazon FBA, making money online, all these kind of things. Um, I'm gonna start making videos on how to actually get more subscribers on YouTube. So definitely hit that subscribe button if any of that stuff piques your interest. Right, let's get started straight away with the strategy. Okay, step one. This is gonna be a bit of a contradiction here and you might be thinking, Mm, what are you talking about? Well, step one is start with Teespring, start with Redbubble, start with one of these companies, okay? And sell t-shirts, sell as many different kinds of t-shirts as you possibly can, and make sure to offer free shipping. This step one is not about making money, right? This is not a get-rich-quick scheme, this is not a make-money-overnight game, this is a long-term business I want you to try and build here. I'm trying to turn your print-on-demand business into something that is evergreen and will last a long time. What most people won't be showing you how to do. Okay, so like I said, step one is as simple as selling t-shirts using one of these pre-made companies like Teespring, whatever, but make sure to offer free shipping, all right? This is not about making money, it's about gaining knowledge onto what, um, as to which designs work the best. I don't care if you're breaking even, in fact, I don't care if you're losing money, it's not about the money, okay? At this point, it's not about the money. So another cool, reason for this first step, right? Another really cool reason to try and build up sales, not worry about making money so much on Teespring, is that Teespring, this opens you up to their trust score and all their marketing efforts. And I've actually made a video on their trust score up here. It's really, really hard to kind of know what trust score you're getting with Teespring for them to start selling your t-shirts through their email campaigns and through their own you know, website, so Teespring right slash discover. But by doing this, by selling a large number of t-shirts where you're not necessarily making any money, you're just doing it to build up your numbers, this could look really, really good in Teespring's eyes. And then eventually, when I say go to step two and start the whole Shopify thing, what you could also be doing at the same time is leaving your stuff on Teespring. And once you start getting enough sales doing it this way, you can then take away the free shipping, right? Once you're in Teespring's, you know, stores and Teespring right slash discover and Teespring email, Teespring's emails, you can take away the free shipping and see if you get any sales that way just with their own marketing efforts. But still make sure to go over to the step two and step three and, and do the Shopify store idea. This is just like a second side idea that you could be doing along, you know, the main, main Shopify idea. Right, step two, this is where maybe a couple of weeks later, maybe a month later, you have to evaluate what happened, what t-shirts got you the most sales, which ones seem to be doing the best. Once you've done that, I want you to then move over and create a brand and create a Shopify website. And I want you to list that t-shirt and I want you to list any t-shirt really that did well. And as well as that, I want you to list more t-shirts in that niche, right? And now this is where the money starts coming in because you have already built successful designs. So that's brilliant, right? and you can see which designs are being successful. Right? And that's why you're gonna put them on this Shopify store. By having a Shopify store with t-shirts that you know were already getting sales, this, and, and as, especially if you build a brand, this is one sure way to create evergreen designs and an evergreen business that will make you money for a lot longer than just a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Definitely, you've gotta actually pick a company that um, can fulfill your orders because you're not using Teespring anymore. So you might have to use Printful or any of these companies. But the issue that I find with using these companies along with Shopify is they charge quite a lot. Printful is not the cheapest for 
sourcing the product and it's not the cheapest for shipping. So this is where you have to do a bit of research and pick a decent company. Now, what I would do, and this is because I don't really mind taking that extra risk, is I would see which t-shirt did the best when I in step one. And then I would go and, 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 and order that t-shirt in bulk from like an actual company who does, um, who prints t-shirts. I'm in the UK and I use the company Monster Press, right? And I get t-shirts for about three or four pounds and it's the cheapest way of doing it. And that way I'll get all the t-shirts to me and I will fulfill them myself. Or I would get them sent to a third party fulfillment service and they would fulfill them. But the point is you're paying probably less than half to do it this way. The only difference is you're opening yourself up to a bit of risk that that t-shirt might not sell and you'll be stuck with all of this stock right, that you've already paid for. That's why I say only do this if you have proven that a particular t-shirt has done well in step one. So the main reason for you doing it this way around and not doing it just with Teespring or just with Shopify, the main reason you do it like this is because brands are not built using Teespring and using Teasley, right? You're not building big businesses using those companies. The way to build your own brand and the way to eventually build something big is to create your own website. And by doing that, and then Shopify is technically like building your own website. And I want you to consider other companies. So there's a company called Douchebags and there's a company called uh, uh, Cess Normal or Cess Normal, right? Which is not normal. And um, these companies were started by a guy called John Olson, who I've watched on YouTube for many years. And he's an ex pro skier and he created these two brands along with his YouTube account. And he has blown these two brands way out of the water, right? And one of them is a clothing company. One of them is like a suitcase company, right? And he's done this all through social media and he's built actual proper brands that he could go and sell if he wanted to. Obviously, I doubt he is, but the point is he's built these actual proper brands and he's had to do it through real websites and real marketing. So if you're wondering, should you do this? The simple answer is yes, but stick to those steps because you don't want to create your Shopify store too prematurely because then you'll have to be paying for it every single month when you're not actually getting any sales. And it can be quite expensive. At the moment, I think they're doing some sort of 90 day free trial, but I don't know how long that's going to last. And I don't know when you're watching this, it might not be around anymore. So I would definitely say stick to those steps and only create the Shopify store when you get to that step and you're ready to launch with Shopify. I hope you like this video. I hope it made sense. I hope those steps made sense. If anything didn't make sense, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you like seeing more videos around the Shopify idea, then also let me know in the comments down below and I can make more videos on Shopify. I was thinking of making a full, you know, tutorial video on how to create a good branded Shopify website, just like a screen recording kind of tutorial. And finally, thank you very much for watching. I post videos on Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. And if you haven't already seen my Instagram channel, I'm posting daily on Instagram. I'm trying to get that to 10,000 followers. So go and check out the Instagram. And if you thought this video was cool, you got this video up here, you can click and watch this video. This is three ways to make money just using your phone. A lot of people don't have a, a laptop out there. So definitely go and check that out if you're one of those people that want to make money just using their phone.